Good day. Today we are going to do question 1A of the 2022 NCA Level 1 Geometric Reasoning Paper. Without further ado, let's read the question. The diagram below represents the upper section of a crane. The angle ABC is 27, angle ADC is 35, AB is 8 meters, and angle ACB is going to be a 90 degrees. Okay? So, angle ACD will also be a 90 degrees. So, you are going to calculate the length BD, and that's how we're going to solve this. Okay? So, we are going to divide the length BD, the X, into two parts. X1, which is your BC, okay? And X2 is your CD. We're going to add X1 and X2, and we can calculate the BD after that. But before that, we need to calculate the height AC. So AC is going to be represented by Y. Okay. So if you look at triangle ABC, so in triangle, in triangle ABC, we're looking at this triangle here. Okay. We're going to use a trig ratio. First, we need to calculate the height Y. Y is the opposite of the angle, and 8 is the hypotenuse of the triangle. Okay. So once you know that, we can use the so cartoa, also called the trick ratio. So we are going to use O and H. So we're going to do so, uh, sine formula. Okay. The sine formula is going to be sine theta. Sine theta is going to be O over H. Instead of theta, we're going to substitute with the angle 27. And instead of O, we are going to re represent by Y. And the uh, hypotenuse is 8. To calculate y, we just multiply 8 on both sides, and the 8 will cancel out. So y is equal to 8 sine 27, and the answer is going to be 3.632. 3.632 centimeter. Okay, great. I'm going to push up a bit, okay? So now, we are going to calculate the length BC. Now, X1 or BC is going to be the adjacent and we're going to use the hypotenuse. So we got A and H, so we use a car. So cos theta equals to A over H, adjacent over hypotenuse. So now we're going to substitute the value. So cos 27 is equals to adjacent, which is the unknown X1 over the hypotenuse, which is 8. To calculate your X1, you multiply by 8 on both sides. So X1 this will cancel out. So X1 is going to be 8 cosine 27. And put in your calculator. And the answer is going to be 7.128 meters. Meters or centimeters? Meters. Okay. So we are going to put X1 as 7.128 meters. Okay. We have calculated BC. And now our job is to calculate CD. Okay. We have found that the Y previously was 3.632 and we're going to use this to solve the length X2 using the triangle ACD. Okay, so now using ACD, X2 is going to be your adjacent and 3.632 is going to be your opposite because opposite angle 35. So now we got O and A, we have to use the TOA form formula. So tangent theta equals to O over A. Theta is 35, so tangent 35 is equals to O, which is 3.632 divided by X2. Okay, now your X is at the bottom. So what you need to do, you need to swap places. Your X2 goes up and tangent 35 comes down. So X2 is equal to 3.632 divided by tangent 35. Okay? So now what the next thing you do, you put in your calculator and X2 is going to be 5.187 meters. So the last step, they ask you to calculate X. So X is just going to be, so we're going to put the number here 5.187. So X is just going to be equal to X1 plus X2. So X1 is 7.128. And X2 is 5.187. Put in a calculator and the answer is going to be 12.315 meters. And that will give you a merit in NCA Level 1 Geometric Reasoning. Hope you understand this. If you're not sure, watch the video again 
and I'm sure you'll get it right the next time. Cheers, everyone, and have a good day.